So as a, the, the law is written right now, what I understand is that it says that people have to show a valid state-issued ID. Mm -hmm. um, again, this type of ID, right, is issued by the White Earth Nation, and I use it when I get on an airplane. Um, I can use it as a form, uh, form of identification. And there's lots of folks all across the state who use their tribal ID as a formal form of identification. Um, if this passes, that means that it's no longer valid. And for me, like, that's a lawsuit, right, that I hope that we don't have to get there. I hope that we defeat this at the polls. Mm -hmm. But if we don't and we have to continue to organize, that becomes a lawsuit because, right, federal ID should be able, you know, to trump a, a state ID or a state law. And so um, it just, uh, it's really important and we have to get the word out about this specific piece and our communities because I think a lot of folks don't know that this is part of the law and we have 77 days to yeah. get the word out. Yeah. I think I think that's what the other side wants us to say, just a boutique issue. Like, um, and what it really is, like this is fundamentally will take power away from our communities to be able to determine what they want for themselves. And so like, uh, we have to get over this particular amendment and vote no in order to move forward on anything else we want to see. For so long we've been battling just bad stuff, right, and bad policy. It's time that we start setting the agenda, and the only way that we can do that is by defeating this first and then being able to move forward. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think we're still in the you know initial stages of organizing, but again, it's relational. That's what we do as Native people, right? Start talking to our families, start talking to our friends, and I'm anxious to be part of that process.